doing? This is Paul from Indoor Drone 2016. I'm here with Derek Lyons with uh, Bird's Eye View. So, little story. When you guys first came out, I saw your video, right. saw your website, pulled the credit card out, and, and bought, bought everything. There you go. Unfortunately, it sat for about a year because I was so busy with things. Right. And then I finally pulled it back out, got a friend of mine to sit down with me, go through it. I went ahead and changed out the, uh, the original controller right. with your new controller. Um, so now it's all ready to fly. Okay. Haven't flown it yet. Okay. We're really excited. So we're here today. So tell us a little bit about the new model. Okay. So, um, Paul, thank you very much, first of all, for having us talk to you about this. Um, the original model that you had was our foray into the world. We wanted to be a DIY product and use the world as our R&D. Mm -hmm. So this DIY work, people built it, and um, we decided that we now had enough kind of muscle memory from the world's using it to put in some of the pieces that you see today. So um, the simple things like no tools to put it together, so all the propellers come in like that. We have plug and play capability with the payloads. So you take a payload now, you plug it in on the bottom, click it in there, nice. and then you take this and you plug it in for power, and now you have the ability to be able to um, tell your computer which, plane, which payload you're flying. Right, 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 that looks good. So uh, tell me, um, what is the maximum weight in payload that one could fly with this? Okay, so to fly the pro version of this, which is the pre-built, ready to go, it's about one and a half pounds. And um, we currently fly about six different payloads that are already integrated into it, um, from the Sony that's here, GoPro, obviously, a nice light pay weight, payload weight. Um, we also have Slant Range, um, Sequoia, the Micros Microsense Red Edge, um, and, we all, and we do the FLIR view as well. So we have six payloads that are already integrated with the system, and um, all, all that we have to do now is take any new camera that comes in and plug it into our mount and make it work. That's awesome. So now, what can you typically expect for hovering time and also just outright just flying it around time? Okay, I'm going to answer your question, but I'll answer it in a slightly different way. Okay. So what makes this system special is it's a transitional UAS. So it takes off and lands like a vertical, like a helicopter, mm -hmm. and it flies like a fixed wing plane. So the, the flexibility of both allows you to be efficiently getting up and down in very remote spaces and then fly with the efficiency of a fixed wing. So our flight times are about 40 minutes plus for any one of the payloads I mentioned before. And um, with lighter payloads, you're getting 50 to 55 minute flight times. That's awesome. So now as far as batteries go, what's the minimum and the maximum milliamps that you could carry on it? All right, so we have the 5200 milliamps here and we get two of them at one time. That's awesome. That's really great. Any other new products you guys have? I noticed that when I was walking by, you guys were picking up the model, tilting it, and the landing gear automatically comes in. Is that a so, safety feature? So what happens, it's, it's funny you ask that question. Um, pilots sometimes forget to do certain things, and they land, obviously, with the, with the, with the runway wheels down. Okay. And then they say, I have my landing gear down. They put everything apart, and they're like, oh, man, I forgot to take my, my landing gear and put it back up. Take it like this, flip it over and your landing gear comes so that So basically, without even having the radio on, per se, Correct. you can just flip the gear up and down. I got it. That's really, that's a nice feature. Is that something that my model has with the new controller? It does not have this capability. Ah. So we didn't mean to hose you on it, but you got a little, you were an early adopter. But the cool thing is um, the software that we run in the system can be run on yours. So some of the efficiencies that we have, we have smart wind assist. So the plane automatically directs itself into the wind because that helps you not have crosswinds to make it flutter in the air. So now I got a little technical question. You had a Pixhawk yeah. in there, but you also had the other box right. which handed off the signal from the NASA to the Pixhawk. Correct. So it's about efficiency. We can go now and have one controller in the system, and we can have, excuse me, one controller to fly it. So, so that now this I can it. use that to fly. This is everything. So and now my model is set up with a traditional transmitter, Correct. so I can actually go ahead and use that instead. You would be able to, yes, sir. That is awesome. And then what does that go for? So um, this is a part of the system, so, you, uh, you know, when you, buy like the, a, when you buy the new system. Like 150 bucks or 100 okay. bucks. So like separately, 150 Separate. bucks? Exactly. So, so what does the actual model go for now? Somebody goes to your website, buys everything you need to fly. What is the, what's the price now? So it's, it's actually really simple. You go to the website, it's $6,000 for the aircraft. And that, that includes the case, and then you know the controllers and so on. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you buy the payloads as you want. That's awesome. So each one is individual, you just buy what you want. 
That's right. And then obviously, someone crashes it. You guys sell all the replacement parts for it. We do, but um, we'll tell you what: uh, very few people crash it. A and B, our replacement parts. We don't. We don't. We're not a parts company, so we're not trying to sell parts. We're okay. Selling systems that work. But I can get parts if I. You can get them if you need them. Gotcha. Okay, that sounds great. Is there anything else that you uh, want to let us know about? Well, actually, what we're trying to tell people about is why this is a special vehicle. The reason why it's special is it has so much built-in redundancy, and it's the most productive small UAS in the market. So if you want something that can cover more acres in less time than anyone else, come try a Firefly 6 out. So I'm, I'm assuming, too, that you probably even have an adapter for a flare camera. We do. That's we have awesome. A clear view adapter. We fly it all the time. That is really great. I really appreciate your time, and hopefully uh, I'll get mine flying when I get back from Interdrone. I want to hear about it. All right, thanks a Thank lot. You Thank much. you. Bye-bye.